Welcome to the Caregiver 101 video series. In this video, I'd like to show you how to keep your back safe and strong while you're helping your loved one get from here to there. Transfers. You probably heard a lot of things like lift with your knees or keep your back straight. How about lift in neutral? Lumbar neutral, back neutral. That's the same position that weightlifters use when they lift huge weights, 500 pounds, enough weight to crush a human spine, yet they get stronger and they do it safely. What is that? Neutral is the body's natural curves in a good upright position. The normal curves of the spine are a little bit forward in the lumbar spine, a little bit back through the ribs, a little bit forward again through the neck or cervical spine. And neutral is the most comfortable upright position for all of those joints. How do you find it? Let's do a little exercise. If you're sitting down, go ahead and stand up. Get your feet comfortable, about shoulder width apart or so, and just take a moment to pay attention to your feet. Feel your heels solid on the ground. Feel the balls of your feet, each knuckle bearing weight, from big toe to little toe, back again. Now even that weight between the heels and the balls of the feet. Excellent. Let your knees be unstraight, just relaxed, not really bent. From there, on the strong pillars of your thighs, you can just let your pelvis rest. Draw an imaginary line between your heels. Pull your tailbone down towards that line. You might feel a little bit of tension under your navel with that. On that stable pelvis, you can let your spine rise up, stacking one vertebrae at a time through your lumbar spine, through your ribs, through your shoulder blades and chest, and then just let your neck, again, rise up from that stable base and let your shoulders just relax down onto your ribs. Let your elbows hang from your shoulders and your wrists from your elbows and your fingers from your wrist. Give a nice breath. Whew. Feels good to be upright, doesn't it? Terrific. That's most likely your neutral spine. Now, let's see if we can sandwich that shape between your hands. Just take the round of the back of your hand, place it in your low back. Oh, let your thumb just come up your spine a little bit and your pinky finger down towards your tailbone. Take your other hand, place it on the front, maybe thumb towards your navel, pinky finger down towards your pubic bone. That's the first bone of the pelvis. And now you've got that shape between your hands. Let's see if you can bend a little from the hip and not let that shape, whoops, escape. Try a little squat. That's just called a hip hinge or a squat motion. Now practice this motion until it's boring. That means you don't have to think about it anymore. It just happens naturally. It just happens without you even thinking about it. Go ahead and pause the video. Keep going with that. Practice until it's boring. We'll be here when you get back. So we've been doing squats. Let's see if we can try more complex motions. Maybe a lunge. Maybe a turning lunge. Notice where that motion came from. It came from the hips, not the back. Maybe even getting lower, letting your knees come down, letting yourself come down. You could even get something or someone off the floor. Try as many complex motions as you can. Play with this again until it's boring. When you're working with a real person, the first thing you want to consider is, can I do this? If you can't, get help. The other thing is, what am I going to do and how am I going to do it? Well, here's a real person. Hi, Kim. Hi. And we've worked together before, so I know that I can do this. And what we're going to do is, you want to get out of that chair and into this chair, right? right. OK, I'm here to help you do that. I want to plan what I'm going to do, and I want to set this up so it's as easy as can be for both of us. So maybe if I just move this chair a little closer, make sure the ground is clear, make sure she's ready to go when she's with me. Ready to go? Yes. OK. Can you scoot yourself forward? Terrific. So she can do that. I might help her a little bit. Communication is your next best tool.
if she knows what we're going to do, knows how I'm going to help her do it, she's going to be much better at helping the both of us. It's going to go better. So what we're going to do is I'm going to help you stand from the front, and we'll stand, and maybe you can take some steps and sit. You ready? OK. Now, I'm going to use the strength of her long bones, the strength of her femur and her legs, to, get, to allow me to have her weight be on her feet rather than on my back. So I can cradle her knees, and I can use this gait belt to help keep my hands steady and solid. You can put your hands on my hands. Terrific. Other one, too. I'm going to just give her, there you go. And I'm going to bring her weight forward onto her feet, leaning way far forward. And most people know it's time to go on three. So that's one. She should be able to see her feet. Two, three. And notice, I'm not lifting her. I'm just counterbalancing against her, my weight against her weight. Go ahead and let yourself be completely soft. See, I got her. But I, it's almost no effort for me. Let's stand all the way up. It's a lot like dancing. My weight shift going to her weight shift, me communicating to her with my hands, her communicating to me with her weight and her hands. And we're just going to walk right back to that chair. And let's back up a little till you feel that chair behind you. Are you ready to sit down? Yes. OK. And again, my knees can be on her knees, pulling them in and cradling them as I balance her weight against my weight. If it all feels easy, you did it right.